Boy Young Lincoln here, about to make this video real quick. How you guys doing? Shout out to the MLK Day. Great national holiday for the U.S. Man, this guy stood for racism. He stood for militarism and poverty. Not only for the black community, but for like humanity in general. You know, I'm a check. I just came back from my job from MLK not so long ago, like early in, in the afternoon. MLK, we had a MLK program. It was dedicated to him. We had a guest speaker. We had a poet there. And he was just, they was analyzing his life. It was really, it was a true blessing. I was, um, the audience was really good. You know, it turned out to be really well. So I was very proud to be part of that. You know, it's a man, man of integrity, man. Um, his legacy shall continue on. But, um... I'm really, the video is not really about that. It's going to really talk about, sort of like that, but it's going to really talk about um, two things, you know. But first, I'm getting to the whole Brandon Boystick, you know, situation. You know, I'm not trying to get into the Packers um, organization's business, but, you know, this has been trending all on Twitter and Facebook and everything. So I only caught, like, I think the third and the fourth quarter. I was at work, but from best of my knowledge, from best of my knowledge, right? It was a crucial play. It was supposed to be an onside kick, right? The Seattle Seahawks kicking an onside kick, you know, trying to recover it and get possession and get back in the game. It was told that Brandon Boystick was supposed to, what, block, right, from Mike McCarthy. He agreed. Then he decided to catch the ball, which completely backfired, hit on top of his helmet, and it would just bounce all over the field. And Jordan Nelson and Clay Matthews was unable to pick, the, uh, pick it up. And so that was... Uh, really a turnover like that was a that was a game that was a game changer to be honest with you game changer so Mike McCarthy all yelling at him face turning red that's a tomato all yelling at him on the sidelines I'm like oh goodness gracious so you know it was all messed up you know Packers fans blaming him saying like he lost the game don't get me wrong I mean it was kind of crucial but you know this it, this it wasn't his fault mainly you know so I went on Facebook and there was a fan who wrote a letter he was a news reporter he was Packers fan. He wrote it. He wrote everything. You know, after hearing that interview with Brandon Boystick, when you just said, you know, you gotta be accountable for your actions. You know, I mean, we gotta. It was a failure, but usually failure leads to success, and it's kind of interesting too because you gotta fail a lot. You know, I already said like a master, um, a master is always better than a beginner because he failed more times than the beginner. That makes a lot of sense, you know. You can't just jump on yourself. So you got to go through so many changes in life, life drills, man, just to get where you need to go, you know. Unfortunately, it happened in the big game. You know, I can't speak for the Packers we have because I'm not a huge Packers fan, but I know it, can, it was heartbreaking, you know. I guess he wanted to be, you know, Mr. Hero, and it just backfired, you know. I mean, maybe it's a reason, you know, why they lost. Now, it doesn't explain how Green Bay um, gave up, like, I don't know, 20 some answer unanswered points. You know, I had them come back with 17 year old deficit in the beginning of the fourth quarter, you know, with a fake field goal, go to the full bag, and then you had an onside kick, and you had a, you know, two point conversion that Russell Wilson just completed after throwing four bad interceptions. So it, it, it's a whole team effort, you know, and basically when he, when he got interviewed, he just basically explained like how he just. You know, it's just you gotta be confident. The whole team gotta be confident. Uh, actions, man. I mean, it was just, it was just, it. They just got outplayed. Unfortunately, in the last quarter of the game, you know. And so, you know, don't get me wrong. I'm pretty sure our Green Bay Packers they gonna come back stronger, you know. But you know, this is a lesson learned. You know, this is all a lesson learned. I man, you can't blame this man. You know, I mean, he just made a simple mistake, man. You know, all, everybody make mistakes. You know, and that's just how you grow and continue to develop as a human being. I noticed too, I don't know if you guys pay attention, but when Andrew Luck throws an interception or fumbles or turn over the ball or someone miss uh runs the wrong route, Chuck Pagano, the coach of the Colts, he always congratulate them, pat them on the back, on the you know, on the helmet and say, Hey man, we get it next time, you know, it's just that it's that type of growth relationship, you know. I know Mike McCarthy was kinda of upset, but I really think some of it was his fault too. You know, it was bad coaching. You know, I don't understand how it's fourth and inches. You won't give the ball to A.D. Lacey, but you want to be conservative and take the field goal. Those little simple things, man. But it is what it is, though. You know, I'm not going to draw into that. But, like, Brandon Boyston, man. Um, hey, man, I respect I respect you, man, for actually having the guts to actually stand up and say what you really believe in and, and the truth, you know. 
I understand it's going to be a lot to clean up. You know, this is probably going to be one of the saddest moments in history. But, hey, we're going to move on, you know, and just continue to continue to rep the Packers and just continue to be the best tight end you can be. All in that said, people, y'all. Now, I don't know if I'm M OK. To my black folks and to everybody else too, man. You gotta do your research on do your research on Dr. Umar Johnson. You know, I'm pretty sure some of you guys heard of him. He's been around for the, forever. He's a school psychologist, masters in uh, education and what kids with disabilities, learning disabilities, man, and how does it affect the black community or people in general? You know, so this is a uh, research him, research him. You you guys, uh, I wish I can. Hey, I wish I would have saved some links I could put in the description box, but you know, look them up on YouTube or or Facebook or um, Google. You know, he's a he's a really a profound speaker, man. He he's actually um trying to donate five, trying to save up, raise five million dollars to buy St. Paul College in Virginia. You know, and also what he's gonna do is he's gonna teach uh young boys, man, and just to be entrepreneurs. To uh, the points of dietary, economics, things that's going to shift and change this world. So that's why I said go ahead and do your research on Dr. Umar Johnson, you know. But, um, like, man, man, he, oh my goodness, man. I, like, what really struck me when he talked about the whole capitalism, you know, and and how you just got to be, you just got to be on your stuff, man, about money and everything. You know, he just talking about that in church. So I thought it was real interesting. I just want to go out here and share this video or um, to share that information with you guys, you know. But uh, that's all I gotta say. I ain't gonna ramble too long. And um, yeah, you know this this how I feel about the whole Brandon Boyce case. You know, I really don't think it was his fault. But I mean, he did play some part of it, but it wasn't his fault. I mean, he just he just came up short. That's all it was. You know, it was a whole team effort, man. And I just really think this is me personally. I really think some some. I'm not saying all. Okay, don't come on here. I just think some Green Bay Packers fans take Aaron Rodgers for granted. That's just me personally, man. You know. But, um, it's your boy Young Link. You guys continue to subscribe, man. Uh, probably do a Super Bowl review or Pro Bowl review. I don't know. Probably soon or later. But, yeah. Do your research on Dr. Umar Johnson, y'all. And follow me on Instagram. If you're not, you're playing with yourself. Excellent93. In case y'all worthy of greatness, we did a tribute to uh, MLK on the page. And also, Wisdom of the Seed Ministry. Love you guys. Deuces.